angels and welcome to this angelic creations pick a card reading with me Renee in this reading as you can see everyone's social distancing we're in a park right by our house um, and we thought it would be empty but there are people but everyone's being very respectful keeping their distance which is great so I've just moved to a slightly quieter spot where I have prepared for you a quick four card pick a card reading um, and today this is going to relate to this time um, and as I'm doing this it's May 2020 and we are in the midst of this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic around the world um, and so I thought this would be for this time but also any time that you find this reading it's going to be a perfect reading for you whether we're in the pandemic or not. Um, so before we get started, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. I have plenty more pick a card readings as well as meditations, affirmations, positive thoughts for the day and other spiritual and personal de development tools to help you in your life, uh, whatever issues, challenges or um, goals you may have. Okay, and my, my name's Renee Essex Spurrier. I am the founder of Angelic Creations. Oh, also I have a free gift for you if you do join my mailing list. It's at www.angelic-creations.net. I'll put all the links below in the description and also it might come up here if I have time to edit the video. Okay, and I'm currently redoing that to give you even more free gifts, um, as well as the five spiritual principles to living a great life. So pop over there, head over there. It takes one second to put in your email address. You'll be on my mailing list and you'll get all these pick a card readings plus the five spiritual principles for living a great life for free in your inbox every day for the next five days. Okay, so let's get to the reading. Here we have four cards. One, two, three, and four. And I just want you to meditate on the card. Maybe take a breath. Close your eyes and ask that you be shown which card is the best guidance for you at this time, especially during this coronavirus pandemic, or especially during this time that you're watching this video, whenever that may be. And then gently open your eyes when you're ready and scan the cards and pick the one that you're most drawn to right now. Okay. And let's begin. So if you pick this, number one, what you have here is Rhodochrosite. See, these are the Crystal Angel cards. Um, and it's a beautiful, they're so vibrant. I love these images. It's a beautiful, um, vibrant card with Rhodochrosite, obviously, in the middle, which is a very loving healing stone. It's all about self-love. Um, and this one is saying for you, to be gentle with yourself right now because you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. True that. <laughs> it has been a very challenging time for many people, for most of the world, and for you especially, I think I'm feeling that, um, you know, the shock of this has really taken its toll on you. And it feels like even if you are the kind of person who can take things in your stride and you've been through a lot in the past and you've been through certainly loads of other challenges and tragedies and crises um, that this pandemic or this situation that you're going through right now has, has actually taken a bit of a toll on you um, it's been a heavier burden to carry than normal and um, and also I'm feeling that with you guys you number ones you feel like you're the rescuers um, I really feel like you you put a lot of energy into helping so many people, maybe animals too, and it's really time for you to help yourself and maybe be a bit selfish, and I put that <laughs> in brackets there, um, you know, be a bit more selfish at this time and claim your space and your boundaries because you need to be gentle right now, you've been through a lot, and you need to take care of yourself like you would a little baby or... Um, or a best friend, or a client who's coming to you, maybe. I'm sorry about the noise, it was quiet a second ago. Can you believe this? They're doing some work over there. Okay, apologies for the noise, I can't make it stop, but I'll continue with your reading. Um, yeah, it's saying that you need time and space to heal and recover. So my darlings, number ones, what can you think of right now 
that really gives you that that feeling of safety of security that makes you feel healed that makes you feel recovered you know how can you be gentle with yourself what treat can you give yourself maybe the treat is just the gift of time or of saying no having boundaries of saying no to other people's demands or needs right now and it really isn't selfish to do that although we feel selfish especially if you're a giver it's a good thing um, because you can't give from an empty cup in order to help people most effectively and um, most deeply you have got to be healed yourself you have got to be strong and this card is indicating that you've been strong in the past you are a strong person but right now you really need to replenish your energy, your energy stocks. So take time out for yourself, number ones. You've been so good up until this point and you really need to see that it's not a weakness, that it's actually a strength and a gift to others to take time out for yourself, to be gentle with yourself. Okay, sending you lots of love, my darlings, and um, hopefully uh, connect with you soon. Please comment below if you understood this reading, if you resonated with this, or if you have any questions indeed. Comment below and remember to subscribe to my cha my this channel. Yes, do please, so you can watch more videos. But also, grab your free gift um, at my website. Uh, details below. Lots of love, number ones, and I hope you have some special, wonderful, self-healing, self-love time. Okay. Right, let's go to number twos. Number twos, my loves, this is what you need to know at this time. You've got the crystal topaz there. So if you have any topaz in your life, or you don't, you can get some. This is going to be a very healing stone for you. And this is very powerful because it's all about forgiveness. It says, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, so this situation, this pandemic or whatever situation you're going through right now has really brought up some shadow stuff for you and that's okay. You know, that, that is actually a good thing. So you may be feeling a little or more grumpier than before, um, angrier than before, more negative, more um, depressed, you know, whatever these negative feelings you're feeling, that's okay. And it's okay to feel them and it's okay to express them because that's the healthy way to process them um, and get some help with them, you know, ask a, a professional therapist or get a reading or, you know, get some Reiki or whatever it is that helps you to feel more healed and safe and secure. But the main healing that this card is, is offering to you, this angel is offering to you, is forgiveness. Because when you forgive, you really release that burden um, and you're free to love again and to love more. And forgiveness is a tough one, right? It's one of the big ones, but it's also big in that it's challenging and it's also big in the reward. Yeah? So who do you need to forgive today? It's really funny, someone's just, um, I think he's hit his child with <laughs> a tennis ball just across the park from me and he's saying sorry 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 and I stopped the recording but I should have continued because actually it's related to your reading saying sorry it's all about forgiveness so who do you need to forgive today my loves number twos is it somebody else is it the first person you're thinking of because uh, whoever's popping into your mind right now that you're trying to push away through your thoughts is actually the person you need to forgive and another thought is is that person you do you have to forgive yourself for something? Are you feeling guilty about something? Well, my loves, forgive yourself because you're human too. And we're on this journey on earth. It's an earth school and you're not required to be perfect all the time. We're on a journey of consciousness and it's okay to mess up. It's okay to feel negative. It's okay to feel angry about the situation. For example, this pandemic, are you angry? Are people sick around you? Are, are people triggering things in you when you read them on social media people's posts people with varying opinions let's forgive each other and ourselves you'll really free yourself to love unconditionally then and when you also realize it's not about you all the time that people are just expressing their pain too or they didn't know any better 
then it's it's a lot easier to forgive from that point and, and share unconditional love. You know, if we think that everyone's just doing the best they can with what they've been given, with the situation that they're in, then, you know, they might not have the tools, then it's easier to forgive, isn't it? Because they may not be as spiritual as you or as equipped as you or as mentally healthy as you or supported as you. So just try and forgive. And, and if you'd like to make a comment below, you don't have to put the person's name, but if you're brave enough, you can. You could just put their initials or you could just say, I forgive you and put a little heart. Do that so that the process of forgiveness is activated and you put it out into the world in writing. It makes it powerful. And then maybe do some meditations, do some exercises to aid that. And I will be offering more of those uh, tools for you. So um, I'm currently working on, on an academy for you. Woo! I'm working on some new courses to offer you if you're interested in working with me on that level because obviously we can't do it face to face in person anymore at this time but I will be offering them online so if you're interested in that taking your personal and spiritual journey further go and subscribe to my mailing list at www.angelic-creations.net and when those courses are available you'll be the first to know as well as any new pick a card reading videos as well as you'll get to receive my newsletters and immediately receive your free gift of five spiritual principles to living a great life. So there you are my number twos. It's a big one, but also it's a big one in, in challenge, but it's a big one in getting more love and miracles into your life. So go for it. I love you and I'll see you on the next reading. Check out my other videos guys and subscribe. Okay. Right, so my number threes, here we are. This is the knowledge and guidance for you. You've got the crystal soda light. Wow. Now this for you guys, um, with this pandemic or whatever situation you're in, this is calling for you to socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So this is really is about connection and it's it's quite ironic really because we're most most people in the world most countries are in lockdown still um, and it's very difficult to socialize or to be with people in a physical space so we're having to rely on technology um, on Skype on zoom you know all these technologies on YouTube for example what you're watching this on on social media we're relying on these wonderful technologies to connect us in a different way and it's saying for you to, to join in with like-minded people. So maybe it's time for you to have a Zoom call or um, um, sorry, to have a Zoom call or connect with family and friends through um, a conference call, calling app or, or you know, FaceTime or I don't know all the different available technologies, but or just simply by telephone. Um, and also to whether it's your current family or friendships it's also good to join uh, spiritual groups maybe that appeal to you that attract you that are out there to help support you um, mine being one of them for example so please yeah you do subscribe to this channel so you receive all my videos I do pick a card readings and many other videos to help with your spiritual growth um, but also I'm going to be offering courses soon um, online ones that you can download or, or watch online to help you with whatever situation you've got so that's really good because I'm trying to build a community of angels on earth earth angels that really respects and loves and supports each other it's a really gentle group I've got going on here and it's really beautiful and you guys especially um, people who have connected with me from around the world, people who make a comment or people who become my clients or participants in workshops, you guys are really angels on earth and I love you and adore you and grateful for you and uh, and I love that you support each other. So yeah, do join this YouTube channel and also join my mailing list, um, details below of how to do that, um, because when you are connected with your soul family, Right? Not just your physical family that you were born into, because sometimes, you know, they're there to help us learn lessons. Um, so you might not always feel the unconditional love from your immediate family or friendships. Um, but certainly the friendships that you choose, the groups that you choose and resonate with, they're the ones that can help you. They're the ones that can help you. Um, 
really be yourself and feel grounded and feel empowered and energized and uh, come into being yourself like I said and give you energy because you resonate with their vibration okay I hope that helps it's and it, this is also it's like a, a call for help too it's like maybe you you need that support you really need to feel supported right now so I don't know what you're going through right now but do make a comment below and let me know um, if this resonates with you if it makes sense and sending you lots of love and so yeah sorry got distracted there it's getting very busy in this park that's meant to be very empty um, so sending you lots of love my darlings and know that you will always have a team with you um, but you need to seek them out and anyway you have your spiritual team your angelic team always with you so call upon them whenever you need support whenever you need help lots of love my darlings that's your number three I will go on to number four now while all this noise is happening <laughs> blessings to you my loves see you um, watch an another video if you want I'll see you soon okay okay and now to my number fours um, however as you can hear it's very noisy so I think I'm gonna have to move number fours we're gonna have to move somewhere else more quiet to finish this but I will open it up for you so you can see that we have smoky quartz Oh, Smoky Quartz is such a lovely stone. So if you can get some, this is really going to help you to clear negativity for you right now. Um, and the message is clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. But like I said, I'm going to move somewhere quieter now because it's becoming very noisy, as you can hear. <laughs> okay, my number fours. I've had to move to a different place. But look, nice daisies. Um, so ironically, as I had to move from my original spot, I was feeling very negative because uh, people were being very disrespectful with their noises, um, they were building what's going on, we can't help that, that's fine, but people with their loud music and and uh, um, and now my battery's running low. So um, it's quite ironic, you know, the negative feelings come up and we have to love ourselves enough to go, you know what, it's okay to feel the negativity because that's part of life and you've got to process it and where's it coming from um, and no matter what the source of the negativity is, you've got to address it and and clear it, but with love. So for you, my number fours, it's, is it the same thing? You know, are you feeling irritated or are you feeling really like there's some real black cloud hanging over you right now maybe because of the pandemic or whatever situation you're going through right now it's it's okay to feel that negativity because you're human you've got to love yourself enough to feel that but at the same time you have to for your health and for the good of yourself and others around you you have to clear that negativity with love so um, a really nice thing that you could do my number fours is to imagine that you're under a waterfall um, really powerful beautiful waterfall a spiritual one where it goes into your body you, you step under it and you just cleanse yourself from the top down it goes into your crown chakra through your whole body and goes out through your feet and just brings with it the negativity to be washed away to be used in a, and transmuted and used in a different way as it flows through the river of life okay so for you my number fours there are many ways to clear negativity I mean you could write a letter gosh there's so many exercises I could give you but um, the waterfall one's beautiful and I'm just realizing I think I'm filming this the wrong way around um, the water one's beautiful and um, really quite powerful and quite straightforward so you could do that now after you've watched this reading but yeah share with us you know what your struggles are right now and and uh, let's help each other let's send light to each other to lift you from that negative state because also light is very healing so yes I, I nearly forgot to say after you've you've gone into your waterfall meditation make sure to put light in there again from your crown chakra into your body radiating out um, it, surrounding you uh, uh, from inside and around you completely with light divine light I'm sorry uh, our reading's been a bit disjointed my number fours but um, it's quite ironic because within that I'm trying not to feel negative and 
you know, there's a there's a saying, isn't there, that what if this were all all right? Because sometimes our negativity is us fighting what is. But sometimes we've got to think, well, maybe this is here for me. Maybe this situation is actually for my consciousness, for my spiritual growth. Maybe, for example, for me right now, maybe it's teaching me patience with all the people in the park that's, um, you know, kind of annoying me. <laughs> and a dog just ran past a really cute little chihuahua, so that's made me smile. Um, you know, it's it's having patience with each other. It's having patience with ourselves. It's having self-love for ourselves, um, unconditional love for ourselves and others. It's all of that. So um, if you're feeling really negative right now, my goodness, you are allowed to. We are going through this unprecedented time, this coronavirus, this this pandemic is crazy. And obviously your, your soul, well, not your soul, your soul has been through a lot. But you're at the level of personality, you're in shock. Your soul and your higher self are here actually probably celebrating the fact that this is a, a great, tool for your consciousness it's it's an opportunity for great spiritual growth um but on the level on the human level of course it's okay to feel negative and like i said to my number ones uh, maybe you guys number four you, you can watch the number one um slot as well the number one card because it is a time to love ourselves and to take care of ourselves and be gentle with ourselves um, especially when these negative feelings occur and I'm feeling that with you guys, if you're in a really black hole and there's a lot of negativity and depression even setting in there, um, it might be a good tool for you to do some breath work, to do some, um, to contact a therapist, uh, to, to get some more support, maybe to do a workshop. Oh my goodness, I wish I had my Heal Your Life workshop that I could offer you right now. Um, I am working on courses for you to be able to do online. So that's I'm working very hard to get that out to you guys because that's going to be really helpful. But I'm, I've got some free meditations actually that you could do. And actually, I've got a root chakra meditation about to come out. It's completely free. It's on my channel, on this channel. So do subscribe and I'll have more for you guys. Um, but if, like I say, if you're in a really desperate situation, either you know, contact a professional therapist, contact your friends and family, get some help. It's okay to feel negative during this time, but obviously you don't want to stay there. You don't want to linger there and you want to help yourself to come more into the light. Okay. So read inspiring, uh, inspiring pieces of, of inspiring quotes, inspiring books, um, connect with inspiring people, uh, uplifting people. This channel, for example, my community, do subscribe to my mailing list on my website which is www.angelic-creations.net if you subscribe there you'll get my you'll get onto my mailing list and you'll receive all my goodies and treats that I send out and I regularly send out freebies and uh and other offers so that that might help you you can have a reading with me if you want I am doing some during this time um but also you know take care of yourself mentally physically emotionally on all those levels, spiritually, um, you know, on a physical level, do take care of yourself physically, get enough sleep, make sure you're getting out into the day. I know we're not really allowed out of our homes, but if you could get some air on your face, breathe in some fresh air, if you could get some sunlight on your skin, if, if that's at all possible, then do. I mean, that's why I'm out here. I'm right next to my house, but you know, it's, it's good to get out in the sun. It's our first sunny day, proper sunny day in ages. Um, so many ways that I, I love to share with you to help you, but I've got to keep this short. Um, but just know that I'm sending you love. And if you're not feeling loved and if you're feeling lonely, know that there are people like me who maybe have never met you, but who are sending you love. So I am sending you love and praying that your angels wrap their wings around you. And I want you to know that you're not alone. And um, you know there are light workers and spiritual people and angels around the worlds and in the heavens thinking of you, holding you in their thoughts and in their hearts. Um, so please reach out as well so that you really feel it and ask, you know, you don't get unless you ask. So ask if you need more support and know that you're loved my darlings.
okay? Sending you so much love and light. And, and especially for you, my number fours, have a look at my uh, root chakra meditation to help you feel safe and secure if that's what your issue is at the moment, if that's where the negative stem is stemming from. Because especially at this time, uh, we all need to feel that our needs are being met and you're feeling supported. Okay, so drop me a line down below, comment if this resonated with you or if you have any questions and um, hopefully speak to you soon and see you on the next video. Lots of love. Namaste. Yes, that's everybody. So that's everybody that's opened you up. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so that's been your little pick a card reading for today. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Uh, remember to just call upon your spiritual team. Make sure they're from the highest vibration of divine love and light, always. And um, know that you're not alone and that there are communities such as this one that exist to support you. So I'm sending you my love and... Um, hoping that you stay safe and well and praying that your angels surround you with their love and their wings um, especially at this time okay i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching i really really do appreciate you especially at this time uh, it is my pleasure and honor to continue to do these readings for you um, and i just love to hear from you to to know that uh, you guys are out there appreciating this too because it gives me energy to keep going Okay, lots of love. I love you. Namaste. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.